Hey guys, in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to do this Halloween inspired candy corn pumpkin butterfly. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and let's get started. So I don't have a candy corn colored split cake. You can absolutely make your own um, if you think you're going to be using it often enough to do so. But what I did is I just took a flat brush and I painted on the colors that I wanted onto my spun. Then I just made a simple butterfly shape. And you can always clean it up if you ever make a mistake. And for the sake of the tutorial, I just went with a simple butterfly design, but you can absolutely make this as intricate and detailed as you would like. Um, but I just went with a simple one for this tutorial. Do the same on the other side. And to add a little detail, I just added some dots, but again, you can do whatever you like. And I was just playing around with the body and came up with that. And of course, I messed up at the end, so I just wiped it away into a point and we're all good. For the pumpkin, I used a split cake. All products are listed in the description below if you're curious. And it had like an orange and a yellow on it, which gave it that sort of dimension. And then I used a light green and made the stem and the vines. I kind of used the vines as the antenna of the butterfly. And then I went ahead and outlined it. And just follow the orange lines from before to keep your dimension. And then I drew a jack-o'-lantern face on the pumpkin. And again, you can get creative with this and do whatever you like. Make it a scary pumpkin, a happy pumpkin, a sad pumpkin, you know, whatever. Go ahead and outline the rest. And for, I didn't want to cover up the green. So what I did was I just did black on the bottoms. So you can still kind of see that it does little curly cues and things, but like I said, I don't want to, I didn't want to cover up the green, so I didn't want to completely outline it in black. Then I added a few details to the stem, then finished it off with some white dots mixed in there. And then added some highlights to the body as well as the pumpkin. And for the vines I just added some highlights to the high points because again I didn't want to cover up that green. And that's it. There is your candy corn inspired pumpkin butterfly. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.